Well, <laughs> I definitely was not expecting this. What's up, people? Brandy for Brandy Steel Entertainment. In this video, we're going to be talking about The Undertaker's career past SummerSlam 2015. But anyways, guys, let's jump right into this topic. So, a lot of people really started to speculate The Undertaker's career past SummerSlam 2015, being that he did collapse after SummerSlam went off the air. Uh, you know, I'm going to go through a few things. You know, uh, so, uh, Undertaker, a lot of people really starting to, you know, say that, oh, he's starting to get a little too old and, you know, every single match that he has, he, there's always something wrong with him, so on and so forth. Uh, SummerSlam 2015, he collapsed as soon as SummerSlam went off the air. Uh, WrestleMania 30, as soon as he went backstage, he collapsed and he spent the night at the hospital. But if you kind of look at it, you know, both matches were against Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar, he hurt a few people in his career. You know, he broke Triple H's arm two times and put him out of action multiple times. And uh, as well as John Cena, he was hurt after his match at SummerSlam 2014. And, uh, you know, his match against Roman Reigns at uh, WrestleMania 31, you know, Roman was actually kind of hurt afterwards so Brock Lesnar has a pretty good history of hurting people backstage or hurting people after a match you know and uh you know if you look at Bray Wyatt and Undertaker's match at WrestleMania 31 the Undertaker was in phenomenal condition after you know their match you know because it wasn't that much of a physical match but we all know that a Brock Lesnar match is always physical and uh Undertaker's body really can't take that so right now Undertaker's pretty happy with his his match that he had at SummerSlam against Brock Lesnar so that just goes to show that Undertaker wants to become a part-time wrestler after WrestleMania 32. That just goes to show that he's not going to be having a, a, a retirement match at WrestleMania 32. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to react to this. You know, like I said, I really have no reaction, honestly. Uh, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it because I get to see Undertaker in the WWE more often. But I, I really don't know. And, uh, you know, he is confirmed to be at, uh, you know, Survivor Series 2015. So we're just going to have to see where that goes. But... I really don't know what he's going to be doing in the WWE past WrestleMania 32 because that would have been a perfect sunset to his career in his hometown against Sting or anybody else who, you know, earned that shot to face the Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. So uh, we really don't know who he's going to be facing or what his plans are for uh, after WrestleMania 32. But we do know is, is that after WrestleMania 32, he is going to be a part-time wrestler. So we're just going to have to see where this goes. But anyways, guys, you heard it here first. The Undertaker is still going to be wrestling after WrestleMania 32 as a part time wrestler but anyways guys thank you for stopping by the top daily wwe please to be i really do appreciate you for watching this video plus if you're new around here why not hit the subscribe button because i do upload wwe content on the daily plus follow me on twitter at brandon steel ent because i do upload tweets on a daily and they are pretty awesome but anyways guys i'll be talking to you later